You look tired, friend. I know you've been working hard. Tell me, have you made any new discoveries? So Lord Franz was behind the fire. From behind the scenes, he's been using his wealth to make his puppets do his bidding. That's exactly what I was afraid of. Unfortunately, there's not enough evidence to charge Lord Franz. Even if we bring witnesses to testify against him, all he has to do is feign ignorance and render our accusations meaningless. We need more conclusive proof, something that even he won't be able to deny. Before that, let me bring Miss Muriel here first. Now that we know she's not the culprit, she shouldn't be locked up. She got blamed for this. She deserves to know the truth. This is quite the crowd. Um, I know you don't want to see me right now, Miss Muriel. But I would like to apologize for unjustly accusing you earlier. You see, all of this is... It's fine. No apologies needed. If anything, I should thank you. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be running around for my sake. Isn't that right? <laughs> I knew it. I know you have questions, but let's meet elsewhere to talk. The gardens to the northwest, maybe. <sighs> My favorite flowers grow there. And do remember to come alone. Just the two of us. Think of it like a... date. Did she just say date? Yummy. What's a date? What? Don't ask something silly like that, Chippy. Uh um. We should return to the heroic order, Valen. You had something important to report, didn't you? Hmm? Not really. Hey, General! Why are you dragging me away? Wow, it seems like something interesting is happening. Don't worry, I'll keep my ears nice and shut. I swear to Miss Arte that I won't eavesdrop. You came. You look like you have hundreds of questions to ask me. Just ask. I'm in a good mood. You might even get some answers this time. The ward. So even you're saying it's a ward. It seems you've completely forgotten about the past. From what I understand, this is no mere ward. I once promised a person long ago that no matter who asked, I would never divulge the truth about this. It's something very important. I can say no more. All I can say is that someone is interfering with it. Sadly, I tried, but I couldn't stop it. I'm not sure. The culprits covered their tracks, and I couldn't find any clues. I can't answer that right now. You've asked enough questions. Now, it's my turn. 
What do you think about the location of our dates? Well, I'm rather fond of this spot. See these blue flowers? Someone once told me that I'm just like them. You guess. If you're right, I'll give you a prize. Hmm. I wonder. Don't look at me like that. I never said I would tell you if you were right or wrong. You'll know if you guessed right next time we meet. And trust me, there will be a next time. Sometime soon, I'm sure. In any case, my lady is tending to important business. You may take your leave now, Lord Franz. Uh, wait, wait! Uh, tell me what you want. I'll give you anything. Just let me see Lady Vala. Please excuse me. I have to leave to attend some other matters. Huh. Damn that woman. There are some things money can't buy. It seems you're still having trouble understanding that, Lord Franz. You lot again. Such an unseemly group of people. Like diseased rats spreading their plague everywhere they go. It seems like you're the one being treated like a pest. She wouldn't even see you. Silence, you vermin. Guards! Scum like you have no business roaming around these civilized streets. My men will teach you not to leave whatever hole you came from. Lady Vala, it's been quite difficult to get a meeting with you, my lady. Oh, you've got some nerve, Lord Franz. Is this how you respond when someone has no time to meet with you? By picking quarrels at their doorstep? Oh, you misunderstand, my lady. These miscreants were the ones who started the fight, not I. My noble lady. Your eyes are as clear and brilliant as the stars in the night sky. Surely you can see through the lies this man is telling you. I care little for your petty squabbles. If you wish to continue this farce, I demand that you do it elsewhere. If even one of my flowers gets stepped on, you will all suffer my wrath. Please don't be upset, my lady. It breaks my heart to see a frown on a face as beautiful and flawless as yours. I beg your pardon, sir. While you do not wear the armor of the heroic order, am I right to presume that you are a member of the solitaries? Um, why is someone like you getting involved in petty disputes such as this? What do you mean, my lady? Spying, secrets, gossip mongering. The solitaries are known to be masters of deception. The heroic order are the swords and shields of the nobility. How can one be unaware of those who serve them? Then it is I who have taken the liberty. <laughs> there. Now you sound much more like a solitary. Hey, Magister! Even though that lady was talking to Valen, why does it feel like she's been staring at you all this time? I totally agree! Oh, she finally looked away! 
her stare is so sharp, like a dagger. Chippy's heart almost jumped out of his chest. Now then, Lord France, what could be so urgent that you would disturb me like this? My lady, I merely wish to extend an invitation to the Golden Banquet. This year's harvest of the gem vine was quite good. I will host a banquet in celebration. I would like to invite you to come. I see. Now, if that is all, I'd like to go get some rest. I wish you all a pleasant day and safe travels. Have you been following me? Why do you ask? Does the idea frighten you? There are only two kinds of people who receive this kind of special treatment from the heroic order. The first are important figures like him over here. The second are greedy, no good criminals like you. <laughs> you claim this man is a person of import. With neither wealth nor title, what makes him any different from the rest of the common rabble? You bonehead! Do you know who you're talking to? The person standing in front of you is none other than the great and mighty Merlin! <laughs> Chippy! Stop covering my mouth! Just calm down, Hammy. How can I calm down when someone insults the Magister like that? Summoning a couple of talking hairballs? All mages are mad. Every last one of you. You seem to have some experience with mages, Lord Franz. Did you hear that a mage summoned fire elementals in Ryham on the night of the fire? Huh. Insinuate all you want. It'll give you a chance to use that crusty brain of yours. Don't overestimate yourselves. Making an enemy out of me is the worst thing you can do. That man's arrogance knows no bounds. He's been exposed, and yet he acts like nothing has happened. What's this golden banquet that he mentioned just now? He's throwing a feast, just to celebrate the harvest. Didn't hear about that. Lord Franz's manor is like a fortress, and he's never been one to have guests. So why would he suddenly want to throw a banquet now? My thoughts exactly. Something doesn't add up. If we attend the banquet, we might find some new clues. Did you see that gold invitation he gave to the lady? Where can we get ourselves one? I think I may know someone who can do that for us. Yes, that young man could be our ticket in. We should go see him at the Mithril Consortium. Have you finished speaking to Miss Muriel? I truly hope she can find it in her heart to forgive me. Wonderful! We have a saying in our family. On the road, everyone is a customer. The Mithril Consortium cannot afford to lose such a customer all because of my personal failures. You only talk in business terms, don't you? Anyway, did you happen to receive a gold invitation from Lord Franz recently? Do you mean this? It just arrived. I didn't get the chance to open it yet. Excellent. Thanks to our friend here, we have a chance of getting into the manor now. Although my orders are to protect him, for the sake of our investigation, I will serve as your personal guard for a time. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? All of Lord Franz's invitations 
bear a single person's name, meaning only that person is invited to attend. Even as a member of the Mithril Consortium, I have no way of bringing a guest with me, especially not an entire group of people. That crafty old man. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to forge invitations for everyone right now. F forge What? Did you think that the Heroic Order was above using tricks like that? However, like I said, we don't have the time. I was thinking the same thing. Then let us go together. If anything should happen, I could provide some cover. I won't say no to any help you can provide, but don't expect us to pay you back or anything. How could I? I just want to help. Besides, this isn't enough to repay you for what you've done for me. He sure knows how to butter people up. Now that we've decided on a plan, let's start getting ready. Once we're ready, we'll leave immediately. I apologize for my tardiness. Is everyone all right? That Gruglin just now looked especially tough. It definitely gave us a challenge. I'm happy to see you again, miss. Did you finish your investigation? Yes, and I wanted to share my findings with everyone as soon as possible. Judging from your expression, things must be even worse than we thought. I wanted to research gemfine grapes to explain the differing flows of magic in the north and south of Ryham. However, I uncovered the secret of the grapes themselves. I am sure you know, Magister, that these grapes confuse one's mind. They also affect hypophenes. I can personally attest to that, but why? Because gemvine grapes are anything but ordinary. They may look like fruit, but they've been heavily augmented by magic. Every single grape contains powerful hypogean magic, which attacks the mind as soon as it is consumed. If my analysis is correct, then with a little refining, these grapes can be used to control other people's minds. And because they're grapes, they can still be used to make things like juice and tarts, making them even harder to detect. Could all of this have something to do with the Dark Mages? Dark Mages? I've heard of them before. A group of lawless fanatics who study forbidden magic. But Lord Franz doesn't look like he can use magic at all. It's possible that Lord Franz is working with the Dark Mages. We need to hurry. Lord Franz is most likely going to target the nobles attending his banquet. We'll be in even more trouble if he manages to take control of them.
It's time to show you my moves. Just as I expected. command. Now, this seems to be the problem. It's time to show you my moves. Just as I expect. service. At your service.
Looks like someone needs a little. Thank <laughs> you. 